Hello. Hello, I would like to introduce how to read JSON schema. So if you look at this window, this is nothing but a representation, another representation of uh, the schema page which I had sent earlier. Uh, it's easier to navigate. Uh, I have a, sp a separate extension on my uh, uh, browser, but you may not. So I'm using this website. Now, if you see, there are different types of JSON objects listed here. What is each of it? It is a JSON schema. For example, if you look at JSON object, which is at the root of everything uh, we use, its JSON schema is like this. It says it has one property, one compulsory property, which is JSON class. And the JSON class is of type string. And the required uh, property it lists all the fields which are compulsory so you can't uh, not have uh, the json class field set in a valid json object now let us look at for example uh, a json uh, now this image annotation uh, so image annotation what is it an image annotation is a rectangle within an image picked by a particular annotation source so if you have a text and the text happens to be a scan of a page then what you have uh, what you can do is you can draw rectangles on it to select for example a word or a sentence or a paragraph or uh, uh, even a letter now this uh, rectangle needs to be stored in the database how do you store it we use this concept called image annotation what is an image annotation? It is defined by this schema. Mm. Now, if you see, image annotation has a few properties. The first property is something called a source object. Then there is something called a target object, uh, targets. Uh, and then there is this usual JSON class uh, property. If you s uh, the JSON class property, I just uh, uh, JS uh, the JSON class property is nothing but a JSON object. Uh, type of uh, object and uh, it's of the type string and so on so we have three f three uh, properties within this json a valid image annotation uh, uh, image annotation object should have uh, these three things set and uh, it is if you can if you see the required uh, field you will see that it has uh, listed all the mandatory fields source is mandatory targets is mandatory json class is mandatory all right now uh, what is source source is the person who is drawing this rectangle on the image is it a person or is it a bot or if it is a person which person is it or if it is a bot which uh, automated uh, program is it that's what is represented by source uh, further details of course uh, for the source you can look at uh, what the source should contain source of the annotation which contains this node uh, properties uh, what properties this source uh, object should have and so on now uh, targets what is targets now you are drawing this rectangle yeah. you're drawing this rectangle and uh, uh, this rectangle you are drawing on a certain page let us say now this page uh, if it does not already exist in data in this database uh, you cannot uh, annotate something which does not exist right so you should be clear about uh, the object id the id of the object which you are annotating that is represented by uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, is contained in this array so targets is an array field how do you know that because you have the type array and what is the minimum length of this array Do, can you have an empty array no you cannot because it says here that the minimum length is one so at least you should be targeting one image annotation should be above one page or it can be about two pages or it can be about uh, three pages for example yeah, so uh, all those pages are listed in this targets uh, field then uh, what should what should each of these items contain each of these items should contain uh, something called a rectangle object how do we know that 
because you you know uh, uh, you have this description here so image annotation rep is a collection of a rectangle and uh, uh, an annotation source so you have source and you have these rectangles right and so uh, what does each of this uh, rectangle uh, uh, what should it contain it contains all these things it should have these four properties width height x1 Na meaning where should the rectangle start in terms of x and y coordinates and what the height and uh, width of the rectangle should be so we have this and we uh, as usual we mark all the mandatory fields all right and uh, we also for example uh, we also specify uh, uh, what are the valid values for a rectangle object it should have json class equals rectangle now if you see uh, the uh, target it has a rectangle but it also has one other thing it has something called a container id what is a container id Container ID is the database ID of the object which you are annotating. You make any annotation. You make an image annotation or a text annotation or uh, something else. Santhi annotation, Samasa annotation, whatever. It is an annotation of something. What is that something? That something could be another uh, annotation object or it could be a book portion object. Uh, this you can see by looking at the mind map which... Uh, we had sent earlier. Now uh, you see that uh, the in this case, in the current example, current running example for this video, I have taken the case of drawing a rectangle on a single page. So what will this container ID be? It will be the underscore ID property of the page of the book portion object which you are annotating. Book portion object which represents a page which you are annotating. So that ID, that underscore ID will be set here. So what can you make out by looking at uh, given image annotation value, right? What you can make out is, uh, first of all, if you, uh, you, if you look at the source, you will find out who is making the annotation. The precise details about who is making the annotation. What is the ID of the person who is making the annotation, person or the entity who is making this annotation second thing which you will find is uh, what this image annotation is targeting is it targeting uh, page number one page number two or something else of course that's uh, given in the uh, uh, target array if you look at the container id that's what it will contain uh, in our case if, let's say we are targeting page number one it will contain uh, this container id will be the underscore id of page number one and next what you can find out from this image annotation object where should the uh, rectangle lie on the image which you are annotating the page image for example that is specified by uh, the properties in the rectangle uh, subfield of the appropriate target array item uh, there you have uh, width height x1 y1 I hope uh, this was useful. Uh, the JSON schema is a very common thing. Uh, it is a very standard thing. You can go and uh, just Google it. Uh, all these uh, fields are very straightforward. We use JSON schema to specify how this, how a given JSON class, uh, how a valid uh, instantiation of the JSON class, of a given JSON class, should be made what fields it should contain what values can it contain what data types can it contain and so on now uh, we also make sure to use this given json schema to make sure that uh, people don't dump garbage into a database we always validate our uh, our uh, uh, data against this schema so you can't give me a json a image annotation object where uh, something is not valid where which does not for example contain a source field and expect uh, the operation to succeed so as long as everything is fine this can be returned to the database and one more thing 
if you have a container id if you have a container id which points to an object which does not exist the system is designed so as to check that uh, container id is valid so if you give some uh, random string and if you ask uh, if you use the api to uh, try to write the image annotation to the database it will fail thank you i hope this was useful any further questions are welcome